Yeah, I'm calling this my uh, lumberjack who's kind of given up look. <laughs> Welcome to episode two of Conquering College. As you may be able to tell if you have been watching my videos for a while, I have a new background because I have officially moved back into my college apartment and I have been working really hard to get my room together. Now I just wanted to say thank you first of all because my um, first episode of Conquering College where I talked about surviving sorority recruitment has done really well. So I really appreciate that. If you guys are interested in going Greek, I highly suggest that you go watch this video here, which I gave you five tips for surviving sorority recruitment. But I'm gonna do a very similar type of video today, except I am going to talk to you guys about surviving your freshman year of college. Again, as a senior, I feel like I might have some wisdom that I could, you know, give to you guys about, you know, things I wish I had known going through my freshman year of college and things of that nature. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into it with tip number one. Tip number one, don't be afraid to reach out to people. Um, I know that going into your freshman year can be really nerve wracking as of course I have done that and I remember I went to school only knowing one person so I was really nervous about making friends. Some basic tips on how to meet people, don't be afraid to like introduce yourself to your neighbors on your floor or introduce yourself to like your RAs who are your resident um, assistants who basically are in charge of your whole floor. Get to know them, they're upperclassmen, they can have a lot of advice and a lot of guidance for you if you get to know them. You know if you go into lunch and you're sitting with some of your friends or some people that you've met and you see somebody sitting alone like ask them to come join you I know that some people did that for me my freshman year and it just made me feel so welcomed and it made me feel like I was a part of something people that really reached out to me and genuinely like made the effort to know me really just changed my whole perspective on freshman year in general and made things a lot less nerve-wracking you will make friends if you genuinely try to make friends Tip number two, really get out of your comfort zone. Now this can mean a variety of different things. It can mean, you know, hanging out with new people. Like if you go to school with a bunch of people you knew from high school, like try branching out and meeting people that you don't already know and like really getting to know some new people because that's what college is all about. But that also can mean like, you know, taking classes and things that you didn't think you would take classes in or, you know, going somewhere or doing something that like you never thought in a million years that you would be like confident or cool enough to do. Doing things like sitting alone in the cafeteria and eating a meal, like you have to get used to doing things by yourself in college because I promise there will be days in between classes where you're starving and you want to eat food and no one else is there to eat food with you. Like just go and just eat. It's awkward at first, but then you get really used to it. I do things all the time by myself now. So experiment and just, you know, do something new and you will just make the best of your college experience. Tip number three, be good to your body. Now I know this is something like cliche that everybody says. You guys, it's so true because I know going through freshman year, it's like such an exciting time that you just wanna go and you wanna do everything and you're experiencing college classes for the first time and the cafeteria food is often really crappy and like you wanna get fast food and you wanna do all those things. Like it will make you so sick it will be so hard for you to like to be productive and to do your best work because you're not sleeping enough because you're drinking too much or because you're you know like those things first of all are gonna make you gain that freshman 15 which is just not healthy for your body and you know you just want to treat yourself well sleep well eat well drink responsibly tip number four running the risk of sounding like your mother work hard but also have fun. Now, it is so easy your freshman year to get caught up in, you know, the party scene or, you know, even if you don't party, like just being out late and, you know, not going to class because, you know, you wanna go do something else instead or not doing your homework because you'd rather hang out with your friends. Like there are definitely times where like, you should go do that. Like you should, you know, go to that awesome concert instead of going to, your Friday class when a, you have nothing you're gonna do in that class or taking a personal day because you're really tired and you really need to sleep. Like those things are all okay every once in a while, but I promise like don't do things where you're gonna lose scholarships or you're gonna have to retake classes or you're gonna have to, you know, like bump your GPA up. Like once your GPA drops, it's really hard to get it back up. So while I like highly encourage you to do things that are fun and like I said, out of your comfort zone and like get to know people, take trips, stay out too late, have too much fun, like, do those things but also remember like you're in college to get an education and it's really gonna bite you in the butt if you get to senior year and you realize you have to retake all of your gen eds so just have fun as i always say 
YOLO responsibly. And tip number five, my biggest tip and my biggest piece of advice going into your freshman year is to make this time about you. Now there are gonna be 101 different people telling you 101 different things that you should do with your college career. They're gonna try to tell you what kind of career you should have. They're gonna try to tell you what kind of classes you should take, how you should dress, how you should act, what your major should be. But guys, this time is all about you. Choose a major in something that you truly want to study. Like don't just, you know, choose a major because your parents tell you that that's what you have to be or, you know, don't choose a major right away if you don't know what you want. Like it's okay to stay undecided for like your first two years of college when you're getting all of your gen eds done. Like you can like, it's okay to be undecided. And also don't worry so much about trying to look cool. Like no one cares about that in college. Like you're not too cool to go to school functions like or to go to your like parties in your dorm where they're trying to introduce you to people. Like you're not too cool for that kind of stuff. Like you're not too cool to join a club. If you wanna join a club that you think people are gonna think are nerdy, join the club because there's gonna be people in that club that are into the same things that you are and you're gonna become better friends with them anyway. So it doesn't matter. People care so much less about what people think in college like people really aren't paying that much attention so do things explore who you are explore what you want to be and just this is a time to make mistakes this is a time to discover like who you truly are so just remember that this time is about you if your home life is crappy this is a time for you to escape if your home life is great this is a time for you to grow on your own and to make you know yourself happy so don't forget that this experience is about you and you have to make decisions based on what's best for you well guys that is going to be it for this video i hope you enjoyed these five tips again i'm going to open up my ask box down below for if you guys have any specific questions or any questions you want to ask anonymously you can ask them anonymously in the link below or you can just ask them in the comments and i will respond to those and again if i have enough questions to make a Q&A video, I will probably combine that with my sorority Q&A. So be on the lookout for that. And I hope you guys enjoy the second episode of Conquering College. And um, again, my name is Parker. This is Stories in the Dust. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out the other ones that are going to pop up on the end card and subscribe and follow me on social media and everything. So I will see you guys very soon. Thanks for watching. And I will see you, I guess, next week. Bye, guys.